Uh, Maddie, what was the game plan on that final possession you guys had, just to draw some contact, maybe? Yeah, I mean, I was getting downhill a couple of times, and I was told that it, I was getting down there pretty easy. So what we tried to do was try to get me to reject and go baseline and see and see what I could do, and and I turned it over and and I take the blame for this loss. Maddie, what were they doing towards the end of the first half to kind of get you guys? Well, with that press, what was giving you so much trouble? Nothing. They just, we tried to do too much. We tried to dribble through four or five guys, and we should have just waited for everyone to clear out, and we didn't do that. And we tried to dribble through people when they got steals and layups and threes, and I think that's where they kind of made their run, and then it kind of just took the wind out of us, and then I mean, we tried to regain it back, but it didn't end up happening in the end. What happened at the end of the first half? Like I said, we just... Didn't, we weren't ourselves. No, I mean with the... Oh, I'm, from what I saw, I think number five on their team pushed Yanis Mendy, and he went back at him, and I told him in the locker room, I said, you can't, I don't care what he does to you, you can't go back at him, because Yanis swung first from what I saw, and then that's what started everything, but uh, him getting ejected killed us, because, I mean, our, I don't think our big guys played up to their potential. And he was having a good first half, so. But, yeah, I think just them two were just jawing at each other, and it just got it escalated pretty quick. Why do you blame yourself for the loss? Uh, I was six for eleven from the three throw line. Um, I mean, I got to the line, missed a one and one, missed missed uh, two free throws in a row to put us up one, and uh, just didn't make the plays in the end. So. Uh, Credit to my teammates for fighting, but this one's all on me. It's one of those things where you miss one, and then it just kind of you get in your head and it gets a little mental. Yeah, with with me, I, I just gotta let that kind of stuff go. I mean, uh, I was, I guess, I would say, it just got in my head a little too much, and I was thinking about the previous shot. Obviously, Maybe. you'd want this to come in a win. Obviously, you'd want it to come in a win, but you did surpass a thousand points tonight. What does that What does that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, I mean, to score a thousand points uh, in Division One is it's pretty hard to do. And uh, to credit my teammates, and my coaches for always putting me in a position to uh, to score and just do the right things. But I mean, in the end, it really doesn't matter because uh, we lost the game. So I, I mean, I care about the thousand, but not as much as the loss. Matt, did this two questions. Did this feel kind of like a tournament game with the emotion in this? And then secondly, what was kind of coach's message afterwards? Yeah, I mean, I mean, every game's going to be like this. In the NEC, it's it comes down to one or two possessions, and uh, and Coach Toll was just saying in the locker room that that the pit in, the, in your stomach that you feel right now needs to come on Mondays and Tuesdays when you when you're sore and you don't want to practice. And he just kind of said that we have to learn from this, and and we're going to see them again, and hopefully we see them again in the tournament too. So uh, I think just learning from what we did tonight and and trying to move forward. I know you mentioned a lot of games are close, but it seems like. There's a rivalry there with St. Francis. Do you feel that too, like with this team as much as anybody? Yeah, I mean, I think since I've been here, we uh, it's always been a rivalry, and uh, and uh, I don't know. It's we always play them close, and and again, and in the end, it just it didn't go in our favor. Did you know when you made that free throw that it was one thousand? I mean, I knew I was close to it. I just didn't know exactly how many away I was. Uh, my mom was sitting like in the front row trying to tell me how much away I was, but I, I was just trying to do the right things. But I was surprised on that free throw that I was I was at a thousand. What what is that moment like when it, the game stops and uh, you kind of just got to soak it in? It's like everyone's giving you a standing ovation, which not many people that can say that they had that, and it's just a surreal feeling. Like that's probably something I'll never forget.